What's up, guys? Got baby cat here. Every video, dude, that I do in this new studio. What is happening, guys? Today, I'm going to help you guys build your dream PC with the budget minding course. What I have for you is the Budget King. It's the i5-12400. Uh, it's the i5-12400, so it might have an integrated iGPU. Um, although not very, you know, whatever. Uh, I paid uh, 160 bucks for this CPU at Micro Center. So, so far, 160 bucks. We have the Asus Prime B660 D4 motherboard. This ran me for $140. So we're at 300 so far in the CPU and GP, or CPU motherboard. Um, that is obviously uh, where I went on the, the, the cheaper route. You can find a uh, 16 gigabyte uh, stick of this Team Force DDR uh, DDR4 kit for 3200 L22 memory um, for 50 bucks on Amazon. 45 is the lowest I've seen it. I f bought this 8 gig stick for 25 bucks. We're just gonna do the minimum right now, and I'll find some upgrade paths later, or just get another 8 gig stick. It's not an RGB. <clears throat> of course. The cheapest GPU you can find right now, the RX 6500 XT, with a PCI Gen 4 motherboard. And this one was actually $200 MSRP. So right now we're at $525. We have a power supply here too. This is the EVGA 550 watt B3. This ran me for $40. Uh, it's semi-modular. Um, well, actually, no, a fully modular. Fully modular uh, for forty dollars, um, pretty good bronze. Nothing to write home about. And we have a uh, SSD here. This is the A Data one hundred and or sorry, yeah, one twenty eight uh, gig SSD. And this was only twenty dollars. So a six hundred dollar uh, build here in twenty twenty two. It's finally happening. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, the one limitation I know. It's going to be the eight gig stick of RAM. I already know that. It's 25 bucks. I figured it was a, it was a decent deal. And if I don't get this, I'll repurpose this for a a, rig, a mining rig or something, or or just sell it, and recoup my money back. Um, but budget has never been a thing, especially with modern GPUs. And even the 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 budget uh, RTX card, the 3050, is going for upwards of 400 dollars. And really. To me, that's hard for me to decipher when you can get uh, used uh, 1070s, unless you're going 1440p, which honestly this CPU definitely can do. I don't know if this has an iGPU. Yeah, so I guess we'll take this in mind and we'll start with the, the building process and that's with the motherboard first. Um, I'm knocking everything off my fucking desk. I have low battery as well. We're gonna hurry up and try and squeeze as much time into this as well. So you gotta get something to open it up. And it's already been open because the guy at Micro Center wanted to observe the pins to verify if some dipshit goes to install a, a CPU that it doesn't bend the pins, I, I guess. So this is an Asus Prime B660D4. And obviously it's got MD, uh, M.2 PCI 4.0. Um, option eight pin and a 24 pin this is important because most um z690 boards have two eight pin connectors um vrms are pretty decently cool i i suppose and yeah so and obviously we have the i5 12400 that's the cpu budget of choice um i mainly did this because i was gonna get the i3 12100 uh f or regular version but I couldn't find the but I couldn't find it at my local micro center. They I guess only sell it at Best Buy or even B and H. But this twelve four uh twelve hundred I do believe comes with an iGPU. It comes with an in stock box cooler, which will help us with saving money, considering this is a six hundred dollar bill. And uh, we just cut the factory seal, so now we can take it out of the package here because we're gonna start with the CPU as always first. And we'll take this out. This has how to install it with the i5 logo. And this has the new stock coolers on here too, which is gonna be pretty interesting. Comes with thermal paste already pre-applied. 
that's kind of interesting and it's got like the blue I don't know if it's blue LED or it's just a blue outline um, and then it's got obviously the thermal place applicated already that's kind of cool and then the CPU tucked behind here this is very interesting packaging by the way and the i5-12400 12th gen this is my first intel cpu i've technically ever bought i built with it before just never uh purchased one myself so we'll take the latch here flip this lever so we're gonna do it we're gonna plug this we're gonna take this out of the package obviously so we're gonna flip it upside down Take the 12th Gen i5 12400. And on this motherboard, it shows a little corner uh, there. You'll match that with this corner here on the corner. We'll plop this in right here. Give it a little wiggle. You know it fits when it sits flush on this. And of course, you'll just double check the motherboard here. And then we'll set this down on top. All right, so here we go. It's gonna take some force, I'm assuming. I've never, it just don't feel right. It's a lot of pressure on that. Even the diamond shows it going in the right spot, but why the fuck doesn't it go down? Yeah, that popped up. Point of no return at that point. Now we're gonna keep this with the box in case we have to warranty this out, which, uh, <laughs> depending on how we fuck that up or not. Uh, I just wanted to be extra prepared because, like I said, I'm spending a lot of money on this. I don't want it to go wrong, you know? And so I guess at this point we can mount the cooler, which I've never actually done a stock cooler, and this is my first time ever doing one for Intel. So let's uh, just go through here. There's no back plate. Oh wow, that's so easy. No wonder they keep selling these fucking things. Oh my god, that's so easy. No screws required. Easy peasy. Got the fucking cooler installed already. So let's, uh, I should have wrapped it around the other way, but it's okay. Uh, you're gonna wanna align this with the way it's oriented here. So just like that, and plop it inside this little thing here. And it's hard to do from my angle here. My lovely assistant, Brianna, my waifu. Um, so yeah, we got that installed. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect, we're gonna slot this in there and let rest it on top of the. Um, screws that we have already installed here and I am fucking this up massively um so let's open up this little packet it's got our motherboard screws and sand offs all these fucking screws so we're gonna need these little screws right here and uh stop please um we're gonna need to screw these little screws into these little ports here. That's a 8, 8 M A X. And we just screw it in there. We gotta do the other three, which will follow along there. Huh? So now we'll go ahead and put it in there. We'll line these uh these ports in the front here. So once we got this right over here. Just kind of jam it in because you kind of see where these ports line up. That should be a good indicator of where they line up, although they just fell out. Yeah, it's lined up. So once they're lined up, then you can kind of line up the motherboard inside the case to find the screws here. And kind of go in a order of fashion. Because once we start here, then we can kind of go down to the corner, which is a corner here, and then we can that should be straight enough for it to get worked out here. I 
actually, this is actually the first time I've ever had to put those little mounting brackets on there. I've never built with a case that was uh, MPTX. This should be good. I like the fan in the middle. This? Mm -hmm. It's a stock cooler for Intel. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. Um, once we had that, we have RAM CPU. It's in the case. Um, I guess we can do uh, power supply, which we have down here. This is an EVGA, uh, EVGA 550 watt bronze power supply. What the fuck is in here? So, this is a fully modular power supply. Uh, what that means is basically semi-modular will pretty much only have two main cables will be this Well, mainly be this big beefy uh, 24 pin. There's 24 pins on it, and that goes in your your motherboard in here. But it usually will only include these two cables for your CPU and for your power supply. The other ones will be be able to be inserted, so you have you can clip them in like that. Um, this is fully modular, so all the cables can be pulled out and pulled pulled in as needed. Obviously, semi modulars will be cheaper, but the cable management will be a little cleaner with uh, with a fully modular, but I had to go through that. So. All right, so we have a lot of clutter in the back here. This is a good time for us to be able to cable manage. But first off, let's get some of the things plugged into the front here. Um, starting with this 24 pin um, cable. Uh, should be able to slide this through one of the channels here and get right into that, nearly right into that slot. I gotta actually twist it. We got that positioned, um, so then we can do the CPU. These are like the main ones. You don't want to forget these. The system will not power on if you do. Maybe the CPU? Actually, I don't know. I don't know, either way. Um, and then this CPU we can route up through here. Once we have those, um, those are the main ones that I care about for right now. So once we zoom into the front here, here. Um, CPU power goes into the top here, but this fan is cables kind of in the way. So yeah, so we got those cables in. Now we have some of the other ones that we can kind of mess around with. But at the same time, I want to kind of get these this clutter around here in the front. All these like front headers, um, stuff like that that we don't. I want to get tidied up ASAP because there's a lot of a lot of clutter here right now. <laughs> Feel happy. All right, so we're gonna route these cables from the the, the case up into the front here, so we can kind of get a better look at this. Um, first off, is we're gonna use this big beefy blue ended. This is the USB 3.0. That's where it's gonna go. It'll say it on the motherboard here too. It's or it'll just be the only slot that has a little notch in the bottom of it. So this has a notch in it. We're gonna line this up and just plug it in like that. You don't want to bend this too much. You'll break this very very easily. I've done it many times. Um, unfortunately, you just have no USB front on the top here. Um, but after that, we have uh, let's see. We have uh, HD audio. It doesn't actually say it on here, which is kind of weird. And the US, the HD audio, it has a little missing notch here. This also has a missing notch here. It'll say like, on this Intel board, this is AAFP. This doesn't have anything on it, but the missing notch there, missing notch there. Just make sure you line those up. You don't want to bend this either. Sometimes it doesn't really matter if you're using a uh, USB headset. HD audio is just the headers on the top of the the tower. So if you happen to break it for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. Same thing with the USB 3 or USB hub, which is the next thing we're going to plug in. Um, it'll be this little header. It says USB on it. And that will go into any of these USB hubs down here as long as you plug them in correctly. So um, like I said, this will have a missing notch in the corner. This one has a missing notch in the corner, so you're gonna line those up and plug them in. And that's as simple as that, actually. It's basically puzzle pieces. Just find the missing hole, plug it in, you're good to go. Um, now we have the most tedious part, 
back in the day they never used to be on the motherboard they're on the motherboard now so this are going to be the case um led hdd and you're going to want to get close so this side is very important this is the um on these fronts it's power led negative power switch power led plus uh, this says power switch reset switch power led negative and plus and hard drive led on this motherboard here and on this motherboard it's very small but it'll say power led plus minus reset power led you'll just have to file the corresponding ones if they don't have it on the motherboard it's got it inside of the um inside of the the motherboard box manual i've had to use that a couple times it's pretty self-explanatory just follow what it says there um power led plus and minus and you'll have plus always go first negative goes second um is that always what it is in electrical pre plus first negative second no oh well i do ground first then neutral which is negative and then your thoughts which are and then positive gotcha and then the next one's a power switch and this is always it it randomizes and then reset switch below the power switch so does it actually say that it does on the motherboard okay yeah sometimes it don't it just depends on your your motherboard this one's nice and it tells us most of them nowadays have that but yeah it actually looks pretty clean yeah you just saw the other one i built God. um so now that we have these power or these this is the 24 pin plug it into the 24 pin slot only one way to do it if it doesn't work switch it around the other way once it is give it a good push till it clicks everything is like that push it in until it clicks the cpu is done power supplies or 24 pins done but we still have quite a bit of other ex extremities here um these are all usb fan hubs and rgbs this is a little bit more for the advanced user um but this is for the uh, let me find where actually which one this is. This is for the RGB fan hub for the Cooler Master. This is for the fan uh, fan hub. This is the SATA cables. This is the same one you use for hard drives. Just plug these in. They're only one way to go. L to L. Plug them in. And then this one, same thing. Focus, please. Um, L to L. And then, so yeah, that, that's the, this one, this one requires a Molex for the fan. So we're going to find a Molex in here. We only need one Molex. So the same thing, this is only one way to plug it in, Molex to Molex. Uh, actually, yeah, one way to plug it in. So we have to plug in some splitters because we don't have enough headers on this board. Typically, there's a couple of uh, fan headers throughout the board here. Um, we have a fan header right here next to the, the CPU fan. We have one right here, and I think that may be about it on this one. There's not a lot, um, but like I said, I have a couple splan fan splitters because I'm going to need fan splitters on this one. Uh, we'll plug in one. Where is it? Right here. Wow, that's in an awkward ass spot. Then we got our two little fan cables. We'll plug in one here. And these have grooves in here. There's there's no way you can really mess this up unless you miss the grooves. Put the groove in there. And then we're going to take another fan. So now we're going to put in the GPU. That requires this to take these screws out. And for some of these, you have to break the clips off for the GPU. This one, on this case, we probably just need to um, simply just take out and remove and not break out and snap. That's uh, the matrix. I figured it'd be having the same scenario here. Oh, well, video's over 10 minutes. We're done. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So then, take the GPU. These are the. This is the slot. 
You're going to do the outlets. And Wait, what kind of GPU is this? This is the RX 6500 XE. This is the most budget GPU you can get right now. Very mixed reviews among reviewers. I actually enjoy it. I've ever overclocked this to like 3 gigahertz. So, um, like I said, just slot it in right there. There'll be a little notch there. Just line those up. There's only one way to put this in. It's literally impossible to fuck it up. Um, and then slide this forward. And then we're going to just screw it back in. And depending on your GPU, you may have 8-pin connector, 6-pin, 8 and 6-pin, two 8-pins. If you're going 38, 90, you're probably not watching this video. So, um... Uh, yeah, that's the that's the build essentially. I'm gonna cable management a little bit, and then we'll have a uh, a running build here shortly. Let me screw the rest of this fan that in. Screw those in. Um, I have to run the eight pin through. So yeah, then plug that in. And we're in business. That's the build. That's complete. It look better with the RGB RAM I bought. Could be sick, nasty, brother. Sick, nasty, brother. All right, time to cable manage. We'll flash forward in the future. All right, the best we're gonna get there. <laughs> uh, you know, just kind of tuck cables away from the chassis door, and it should be all right, right? All right, let's uh, tilt it over. This is the best way to do the door shut. Uh, no, when I have those Boylan Cube stuff. I just turned it on with... Bree! Really? I just turned it on? You fucking... Alright, well, you can have the honors now. Yeah, because you are going to turn it on without me. Oh my god, please tell me. You're just didn't fuck it off. Is the red light on? Yeah, it's because they haven't... I have to boot into BIOS and turn... Activate them to sync them to the other ones. Just I like this fan, though. Alright, I'm booting into BIOS, I think. 